Hola, mis amores. So, as you know, I get my brows shaped professionally, but my schedule is so hectic and my brow guy is almost always booked months in advance. So here is a quick DIY where I show you how I safely clean up and tint my brows at home when I'm in between appointments with my brow technician. The first thing that I do is clean up my brows. I just simply use Nair facial hair remover to outline my brows like I would with concealer. Just being careful to not get the Nair on any hair I don't want to remove. Then I just sit for 10 minutes and wipe the product off. This method allows me to see exactly what hairs will be removed and how my shape will look beforehand. So please do a patch test before fully applying to make sure your skin doesn't react badly, especially if you have eczema like myself. Once I have all of the nair off, I'm going in with a concealer to prep my brows for tinting. Tinting is obviously going to stain so the concealer will help me to control exactly where the tint goes and what shape it tints to. I'm using a matte concealer I no longer use on my face but you can use a super cheap concealer for this one because it's simply for guideline purposes only. The tint that I'm using is one you can find online or at your local beauty supply store. I believe the brand is called Godfrey. I'll leave everything below. But if you want a safer way to tint your brows, then I'll leave a link to a video of my boo, Queenie Rosenblatt, here on YouTube, where she did a video tinting her brows using vegetable based food coloring. So I'll leave that if you're interested. In a small mixing bowl or palette, you want to break the clear capsule that contains the tinting powder. Then you can mix an equal part of the developer that comes into the kit to activate that powder. And using an angle brush, I'm applying the tint very generously, making sure to really coat my brows and stay within my concealer lines. Now the instructions say to leave the tint on for two minutes, which may work on some people, especially if you have very fair skin or fair hair. But I find that once I wipe off the product, there are times where I still have to apply more product to certain areas that didn't take well and repeat the process over again. So I literally just like to leave my tint on for about 15 to 20 minutes. And I know it sounds crazy because it's a bigger jump from two minutes, but trust me, this tint is only going to last about three to four days. So by day two, your brows will have significantly faded and look much more natural. Make sure to use a damp paper towel to remove all of the product. Another thing you want to keep in mind is that your brows will appear much darker when damp. So wait until they fully dry to assess if you need to go back into certain areas and apply more product. And that's pretty much it guys. This is something I love to do between my brow appointments to keep my brows looking fresh. And it's just nice to not have to worry about filling in your brows for a few days. Let me know if you try this out and how you like it. Until my next video, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.